Hi, I'm editor Leslie Nordier, and this is your community news that matters. Today is a watershed moment for all South Africans, and our reporters will be visiting voting stations across the North Coast to report back to you on the elections as it unfolds locally. Hundreds of thousands of South Africans have already voted, so I encourage you to get out there and make your vote count. Failure to equip Omphlotes lifeguards with essential rescue equipment has cost a man his life. On Sunday, Omphlote lifeguards put their own lives at risk in a dangerous rescue attempt in rough seas, equipped with only torpedo buoys, fins and a Malibu board. Despite their best efforts, the lifeguards could not reach the 21-year-old drowning victim in time. In November, the courier reported that the Omploti lifeguards' boats had been broken for months and they did not have a jet ski. Both the safety of bathers and the lifeguards who watch over them are now being put at risk. Four Quadacuso security guards have been arrested for the alleged kidnapping and possible murder of two young men after their remains were found last Thursday. The guards appeared in the Quadacusa Magistrates Court on Monday. The remains are believed to be those of two residents who went missing on April 23rd. The men disappeared after they were accused of theft and interrogated by the security guards in question. On page 3, Quadacusa residents will need to stretch their budgets further to accommodate next month's municipal tariff increases of between 5 and 10.5%. From July 1, residents will see their property rates increase by 5%, refuse rates by 7%, and electricity rates by 10.5%. Commercial refuse rates will increase by 9%. On a positive note, tariff increases are lower across the board than in 2023. Other great stories to look out for include the Sable Screechers Adventure Race on Saturday and the packed schools and sports pages. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and X for daily breaking news.